Hi, I'm Alex Villaforte. I would like to share a case that illustrates the importance of monitoring patients with ink associated vasculitis. This is a case of a 42-year-old male who presented with recurrent sinusitis, eye symptoms of watering, light sensitivity and redness, migratory joint pain, nasal bleeding and a large amount of crusting. Sinus CT showed pansinusitis, he had a normal chest CT, and eye exam showed scleritis. The urine sediment in the office was normal, sedimentation rate was elevated, he had a normal creatinine at 0.9 and a positive PR3 ANCA test. He was diagnosed with granulomatose with polyngiitis or GPA and received induction therapy with rituximab and prednisone. Remission was achieved and he was then started on maintenance therapy with daily azathioprine, which was given for two years and then stopped. He was then monitored off therapy. Our symptoms were monitored and monthly labs. Three years later, he still had no symptoms, but the labs showed a creatinine elevation of 2.1. The urine sediment in the office showed microhematuria and the presence of red blood cell casts. He underwent a kidney biopsy, which showed post-immune necrotizing crescentic glomerulonephritis. He was then diagnosed with the relapse of the GPA with isolated renal involvement. Received again induction therapy with rituximab and prednisone, remission was achieved, and he was then kept on maintenance therapy with rituximab. So the important key points of this case are that relapses are very frequent in GPA, especially during times when patients are off therapy. Relapses may be asymptomatic, and therefore long-term monitoring of patients with GPA is critical for early diagnosis and treatment. Thank you for listening.